In this video, we're going to use the Kraken SDR to find the transmit towers for four cellular GSM frequencies at around 947 MHz using the Multi VFO feature. The Multi VFO feature allows us to collect bearing data for multiple frequencies simultaneously, which can save us some time. In the Kraken SDR web GUI settings, I have set the active VFO setting to 4 and the output VFO setting to all. I've also made sure to set my array size correctly and then I set my individual VFOs to the frequencies that I'll be looking at. Once the app starts, it will show the bearing and heat map details of an individual VFO. But in the background, it will be logging data for all the VFOs. So once we've found the first transmit tower, we'll already have some data on the other towers to give us a head start in their search. Here I found the first tower within a few minutes, as it was close to my starting location. Now I'll select the second frequency and start looking for that tower. As you can see, I've already got some data indicating that the tower is in a certain direction. This one ended up being about 5 kilometers away from the last tower and it took about 15 minutes to find. Now I'm selecting the third frequency and as you can see it's already got a good fix on where the tower is. So no need to drive around collecting more data, we can just drive straight to it. Because we've already collected sufficient data, the app already knows exactly where the tower is for this fourth frequency. It turns out that it is actually coming from the same tower as the first frequency that we searched for. Interestingly, it also turns out that the first frequency we searched for is actually being used by another tower that we passed along the way back. The location of this tower was picked up on the drive back to the first tower. It's possible that these two towers, which are a few kilometers apart, are covering different areas with directional antennas. It's interesting to see how the bearings start pointing the other way once the vehicle passes some threshold. I later went back and drove past that tower to confirm the location and got the estimation circle pretty much spot on. 